If you already do or you plan to live in the Philippines as a foreigner and do not use these apps, you might come across a few challenges. So to help you have a more convenient experience, here are the best apps for expats in the Philippines that can save you time, money and peace of mind. Money is always more convenient when it's managed with an app. Therefore, if you have an international bank such as HSBC, it's always a good idea to download their app. However, one of the biggest problems for expats in the Philippines is those high ATM fees and exchange rates. This is why one fantastic option I always recommend is the Wise app, which was formerly known as TransferWise. I've spoken about many of the benefits of Wise many times, so I won't go into too much here, but there is a link in the description below if you want to find out more information. Most mainstream banks such as BPI, BDO, etc. all have a mobile app, which are pretty basic, but they can be useful at times. One option is the 7-Eleven app which can be used for multiple financial purposes and this can include paying bills, buying loads but the one app you may wish to download is called Gcash. So if you're not familiar with the Gcash app it is essentially a mobile wallet that can be used to buy products, you can also buy load for your phone and you can also pay via a QR code. They also have an investment and saving option for some customers. Talking of investments, if you invest in the Philippine Stock Exchange, a handy app is the COL Financial Calculator, and this app instantly determines the profit or the loss from buying and selling stocks in the Philippines. So you get to the Philippines ready to let that tiger loose, but the problem is you don't know anyone here yet. Well, the good news is there is an app for that. The best dating apps in the Philippines are typically the ones with the most genuine users and the most members. So I looked at the data from the App Store and the Google Play Store, and I found that the most downloaded apps are Tinder, Bumble, Badoo, Filipino Cupid, OkCupid. Okay Tinder is extremely popular and is used all across the Philippines, so most expats find Tinder an easy choice. Japanese are everywhere in the Philippines, but they are not suitable for long distances or if you want to arrive in style. Most expats are familiar with the Grab app in the Philippines, which is very similar to Uber. However, there are alternative options that can often be much cheaper and more convenient. One of my favorites is Joyride. Although it is not yet on the same scale as Grab, it is one of the fastest growing transportation apps. Alternatively, Ancas, TokTok and Avis are good options, but it's important to note that most of these apps only operate in certain areas. Skyscanner is the best option, especially if you're using their price alert feature. The Air Asia app is another option, which is great for those who are traveling around Southeast Asia and want to collect points. Time is always moving, so to save it as much as we can, let's check out some food apps in the Philippines. When it comes to food, there are many popular options. The leading favorite amongst expats in the Philippines is Food Panda, but Grab and Lala Food can sometimes offer better prices. In terms of grocery shopping, Picaroo and Metro Mart are two popular apps. If you are in the Manila area, you will be spoiled for choice, as there are many different food apps and grocery apps that focus mainly on the Manila area. But if you are in other areas, it's best to download the apps mentioned a moment ago. When it comes to delivery, LBC Express Delivery delivers nationwide, and so their app can be very useful, especially if you're living in a more remote area. Lala Move is one of my favorites, and they do offer next day delivery, but one of the drawbacks is that, unfortunately, they don't deliver to some parts of the Philippines. So you may wish to use JRS, JNT, or the previously mentioned LBC app if you plan to deliver nationwide. Also, one that has caught my eye recently is Mr. Speedy, a Manila delivery service that has seen explosive growth in recent months. If we look further afield, the DHL app is a great option if you plan to deliver to the US or abroad. 
The Owl of Asia channel is all about making your life easier in Southeast Asia. So let's look at a few apps that are often overlooked. The first option is a VPN. VPNs are always a popular choice as you can access a lot of Western TV shows and movies and you can also keep your browsing safe. While you are traveling around the regions, Google Map is one of the most used apps and I'm sure that you use it yourself. However, Waze or Waze, I'm not sure how it's pronounced. I'm not sure how a lot of these apps are pronounced if I'm being completely honest with you. But Waze, I can say Waze, Waze is a fantastic navigational app that shows live traffic, which is very much needed, especially in these bigger cities of the Philippines. And if after some time you start to think, wouldn't it be a good idea to make some friends and connect with others, then you have the Meetup app. And this is an excellent app used to host events and make friends. You could become a host yourself or you can join other groups. But one of my favorite apps is called Deep L. Basically, you can take a picture of a foreign language and it automatically translates this into English. So what app do you find to be the best and are there any apps that you love but have not been mentioned?